Steve Gamash with us, Chef Knife to go. Quick look product video. This time we're looking at the Hinora Tamashi Kuro Uchi Nakiri 165 millimeter knife. This knife has a core steel of Shirogami or white paper number no. two reactive carbon steel. The heat treat rating is about 62 to 63 Rockwell on that core steel. The construction is a stainless cladding over the top of that white number no. two. So you can see they've got a really nice uh, KU or Kuda Uchi blacksmith finish on this. It's quite smooth. Uh, there's a lot of uh, attention to detail that goes into these lines of knives. And uh, they're very, very well made. And you can see that immediately when you take them out of the box. They've got a nice polish on the coarse steel there at the edge. This particular one um, doesn't really have any patina showing, but they, they do a really quite a bit of polish right there on the coarse steel showing at the edge. And this is a stainless cladding, which is really cool. Um, so you don't have all the maintenance of a full-on all-carbon blade. So even if this KU wears off, you've still got stainless underneath. You've got a chiseled kanji logo on there. And the weight on this blade is 5.8 ounces, 164 grams. Blade length, right around 165 millimeters. Overall length, about 12.2 inches. The spine thickness at the heel back here is about 2.9 millimeter on this sample. These will all vary a little bit and thins out a little bit, then just holds that at the length of the knife as most Nikiris do. The height on this blade is about 47.6 at the heel and it's about 47.2 at the midpoint of the blade. So it's, it's pretty kind of similar height all the way through. Some Nikiris are different. The um, handle is a nicely done octagonal uh, U buffalo horn ferrule handle. The diameter or circumference on that is about 3 inches, 75 millimeters right here. Pretty standard size handle. The uh, fit and finish on the blade, as I mentioned, is very, very good. They've relieved the spine and the emoto or neck into the choil, and it's really comfortable right out of the box. The out-of-the-box edge on this, I'll give it about a 5 out of 10. It's, it's pretty sharp. It does have a little bit of bite to it, but you'll want to put your own edge on this to really take advantage of what this knife can do. The uh, balance point on this Nikiri is right just a, pretty close to that logo, that kanji on this particular one. And the profile on this is quite flat. So some people like Nikiri's with a little bit of belly. Some people like Nikiri's that are really flat. So this is one that's quite, quite flat. And it's ground pretty thin right towards the edge. The shoulder doesn't come down. There's not a huge primary bevel on this, so you'll get just a tiny bit of wedging on certain things. It's not going to glide through everything, but it does go through product quite well, and uh, it's ground quite thin all the way down to the edge. Um, let's see. I think that's about it on this knife. It's uh, just a really well-made and well-executed uh, Nikiri, and the, the whole line of knives by this maker is done very, very nicely, so high-quality product. There you have the Hinura Tamashi. Kuda Uchi Nakiri 165mm knife.